And we are getting local reaction as well to this ruling this morning. Joining us live today in our studio, Ted Townsend, the president and CEO of St. Luke's Hospital. Thanks for coming in today. Happy to and be here. We're looking for more on the reaction from the hospital's perspective as to what this ruling means going forward. For us, what it basically means is we need to keep going with some of the provisions that are within the law, which basically focus on how do we reduce the cost while improving the quality of care. Mm -hmm. Those are things that we actually think have long had bipartisan support, and we think whatever happens to the law after the election, they're going to continue. Mm -hmm. So for us, the big message is we need to keep moving down the path of changing how we pay for health care. And you've already made, um, I know a lot of hospitals have had to make provisions already to comply with mandates in this act. What have the hospital systems on the whole done to already comply and be ready to go. The biggest single thing is we are building an infrastructure to manage care very differently. That's where we're spending millions of dollars in new electronic health records and actually ACO preparations just like we announced a few weeks ago in our contract with the Wellmark organization here in Iowa. That's all focused on trying to move away from fee-for-service medicine to something that says we need to focus more on the outcomes than the volume and the actual uh, ruling here today doesn't affect that. We want to keep going with those things because we think that's the right direction. We need to focus more as a healthcare industry on improving the outcomes of care while reducing the cost. And you mentioned some of the things that you've done in terms of, you know, electronic records and the agreements that you're working on with healthcare providers. What do you have in the works maybe that you're looking at now? Okay, now that this ruling has come down today, you're going to go ahead with it now that the, we know the decision. Yeah, well, the biggest single thing is we've been notified privately that we have been approved for the Medicare Shared Savings Program. So okay. that will match up right with what we were doing with the, the Wellmark organization for the commercial insured population here in Iowa. Uh, and that will match up with the Pioneer ACO that we had approved in the first phase of the Medicare program up in Fort Dodge. So this just means we keep going. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's really our plea is, folks, whatever happens after November, let's just take a deep breath here and keep going with the things that will actually lead to reducing the cost and improving the quality of care in this country. Those things we can't lose sight of. Ultimately, people will still need health care no matter what happens. So that's exactly right. We'll and see that's what, what we're here for. All right. Ted Townsend, uh, St. Luke's CEO and President, thanks so much for joining us today. And we'll be following this story throughout the day today. Nicole?